I have been considering entrepreneurship since I was 13. I started my first major business when I was 15 and went out fully into the business world at the age of 21. I think I'm lucky. Not because it was easy for me to build a business from scratch, but because I was so young when I started out. In today's video, I'd like to share with you the 7 advantages of starting a business in your 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. 1. Failures could be fun when you're young. When I started fully in the business world, I lost my first business the very first week I started it. It was crazy. But what made it crazier was the fact that I had to spend 8 following years making silly mistakes and failing. While every mistake you make could be painful, you can have some fun along the line just because you're still young. That's why I challenge young people who think they have what it takes to be entrepreneurs not to wait too long because the longer you wait, the more your mistakes seem painful. 2. You have little to lose Several years ago, Steve Jobs was talking about how he and Steve Woz started Apple. He said, well, we had nothing to lose. And yes, they had nothing to lose because they were young. One of them sold his car and another sold his HP computer to raise capital. If they had lost everything, it's only a matter of starting all over again. If you are in your 20s and you think you have something to lose if you try and fail in the business world, well, it's because you don't know what your life would look like in the next decade. I started out in the business world in the year 2008 and today, if I look back at many silly things I did, if I were to do them today, I just wouldn't be able to do many of them. I tell you, youthfulness is a great asset. 3. You're naive Many years after I had started out in the business world and I have had my first success, I sat down and looked at my previous years and noticed that I was, in fact, a stupid young guy. I wasn't reasonable, I was only emotional, just a blind dreamer who thought he could change the world. Steve Jobs said and I quote, those who were crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who eventually did. When you think about what it takes to build a business from scratch, if you can be wise enough to know what it will cost you and honestly count your cost, you won't even try. Unfortunately, when you grow up, you'll be wise enough to know how to count your cost. And that's where the problem lies because if you're able to see what building a business will cost you, you won't try. Young people are usually idiotic and this is a good trait. I remember everyone telling me the truth yet I wouldn't listen because I was young and energetic. They were telling me that nobody in my family had done what I wanted to do and they told me that I could fail and destroy my life. They even told me that I could end my life in poverty. All of these are very true but because you're young, you won't even listen and because you don't want to listen, you'll dare things and somehow you'll do the impossible. Now that you're naive, use your naivety to pursue something worthwhile. 4. You have 5 years to sacrifice I have decided some time ago that I will no longer present entrepreneurship as though it's easy. I want to speak to people about entrepreneurship the way a general will talk to men about war. I want to tell people that it's hell. I want to tell people that they have to put their lives on the line. I want to let people know that they might have to sacrifice 5 to 7 years of their life, which is the truth. An average entrepreneur will sacrifice 5 to 7 years of his life to attain success. I sacrificed 8 long and boring years of my life. But it wasn't that long because I was still in my 20s. That's another advantage of being young. You can waste some years trying to figure out things and it still wouldn't matter. Take for instance, if I tell you that I wasted 8 years of my life in the business world, that might look like a lot of years. But think about it again. I had defeated poverty at the age of 29. And what that means is that I had 50 long years of my life to live like no one else. Isn't that wonderful? 5. People can endure your stupidity In the culture where I grew up from, if you're young, everyone believes that you're naive or silly, which is true. And because they believe this, they could easily let you be. For example, most people in my family simply neglected me the whole time I was messing around. 
They believed I was going to crash my life and understand as they do. This was beneficial to me because they let me mess around as much as I needed to. 6. You could be proud. Older people have seen so many negative things in the world. They have heard so many negative news and have hung around so many negative people. Because of all these, older people tend to be negative. Young people are usually optimistic. And another word for that is pride. Because it takes some dosage of pride to think that you have what it takes to build a million dollar company. Now that you're optimistic, use your optimism to pursue something worthwhile. 7. You can retire early or build several businesses. So many people will have to work for money all their lives. If you start a business early in life, you can succeed early and retire early or at least stop worrying about money. Most people will never know what it means to never worry about money. So, if you've achieved this, you are very fortunate indeed. Imagine that a time comes in your life when you wake up to ask yourself, what do I feel like doing today? No, there may never be any time in your life when you spend all day on the beach. Forget all those dreams of beaches you were told. No human being can be happy waking up and doing nothing. You'll have to work and in fact you'll have to work hard all your life, even if you become a billionaire. The only difference is that when you succeed as an entrepreneur, you can choose what you like to do and do those things only. Plus, you don't even think again about bills because they are all taken care of. Such a life is what you should dream of, even if it's for three years of your life. And this advice is not for people who are no longer in their 20s, even if you're 30-something or 40-something as you watch this video. What is stopping you cannot be your age, but your mind. If you examine all the points I've listed in this video, it's about the mind. You can be 50 years old and have the mind of a 25-year-old guy. Most people who think they are old don't know how they would feel in the next decade. Think about it. If you are 45 and you think you are old, what if you are willing to sacrifice the next 5 years of your life to pursue your dream? It simply means that when you get to 50, you'll be a successful person and you still have 30 years to enjoy that success. In conclusion, anyone with a young mind should dare big things. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends. We love you.